Hi there, Andy McDonald from Coven Co Museum. I'm here in our factory, and this is where we run a lot of our weekend workshops. And um, I run one a couple of times a year in making rustic furniture. So I thought I'd run through some of the basics that people will be learning um, if they come and do the workshop with me. So I specialise in using a pest tree called broadleaf privet, which grows rampantly around here. Um, it is Ligustrum lucidum, and it gets away in the creeks particularly. And I go and harvest this a couple of times a year, get a big car load, and I paint the ends to stop it from splitting. I normally season it for about six months before I get um, the classes involved. So this is two pieces that I've chosen in the bush because of their shape sort of matching and that'll form a chair, the back of a chair. So I'm just gonna cut one of them to length um, with a pruning saw. sound timber. It's a lot lighter and harder than it was when I first cut it. So I prefer to work with the timber peeled. So I'm going to just uh, run through the peeling of the bark and basically we'll be using the same tools that I use when I make wagon wheels. Moving horse, which is a clamp, a foot operated clamp or bench and draw knives um, and the joints are very similar in a, in a part of the wagon wheel as well. Force so that the jaw is the right size for your feet. And I prefer a certain type of draw knife but I have a range of them. So it's fairly crisp at the moment. It's really easy to peel when it's green, but the timber seat tends to split if it's peeled too quickly. 